Hey everybody, welcome back to the story. We're getting a lot of different questions into the hashtag Hey Dan and your emails this week. Uh, and they've been a lot, a lot of them have been about masks, especially since they've been required in a bunch of counties starting on Wednesday. So we wanted to take a few minutes and answer a few of them right now. Roseanne asked this question that a lot of people have been asking. If for medical reasons you are unable to wear a mask and the store refuses entry, isn't that discrimination? That's a great question. And the basic answer is yes, it is. People with disabilities that make it harder to breathe and kids under 12 are exempt from the governor's order. Now, I'm not quite sure if you can use that argument to get into a grocery store, for instance, that's trying to turn you away. We're still asking those questions. Remember, the order only applies to these seven counties, the metro counties, Marion, Polk, Hood River, and Lincoln counties too. But any county, keep this in mind too, can opt in if they want to and make it required there as well. But hopefully you don't need to be ordered to wear a mask when you're out in public. You should anyway just to keep your neighbors safe. We did reach out to the state of Oregon to help us answer a couple of, of your other questions. Let's get to those now. Alyssa wanted to know, do we wear masks inside our gyms when we exercise? No, you don't have to do that. The state listed a few other exceptions uh, in its guidelines here. You don't need a mask when at a business and engaged in an activity that makes wearing a mask, face shield or face covering not feasible, such as strenuous physical exercise exercise, singing or playing an instrument if at least six feet of distance is maintained from uh, from others. So as long as you're keeping your distance, you're all good. Another viewer asked, hey, Dan, does requiring masks apply to high rise apartments too? at least common areas and elevators, things like that? No, uh, actually, they don't. A spokesperson for the governor's office says apartments don't count as businesses, so they aren't required. However, they are still encouraged. Uh, you should wear them if you're in a public area like a common room or an elevator. In our final question, I've got to say we've been getting this a lot. This one's from Jay Schuler. How do you eat? with a mask on your face. All right, I'm going to give you a little benefit of the doubt here. I'm going to assume that you are just an extra considerate person who doesn't want to take their mask off around anybody ever. So well done if that's you. But the answer is pretty simple. If you're at a restaurant, once you're seated, just take off the mask and enjoy your meal. If you have to go up to the restroom or leave the table or you're walking to and from the table, put it on. Common sense kind of stuff. Keep those questions coming. Use the hashtag HeyDan or email the story at KGW.com. You can find us on Facebook and Instagram as well.